Good morning, everyone. My name is Abi Rabi. I used to remember, as a child, I used to be always told to turn off machines when no one was using them. I was always confused of why I was doing these things. So I decided to start investigating. And I soon found out that I was doing all of this to save energy. But I still felt that there was more I could do, that there was more I was capable of doing. So I decided that my PYP exhibition's focus would be on saving energy. My central idea is energy is used in our daily lives and is necessary to do work and power machines. My lines of inquiry are different forms of energy used in our daily lives, human responsibility to save energy, and the impact of energy on humans. My key concepts are form, responsibility, and causation. Now, let me explain to you what energy is. Energy is the ability to work and how things change and move. All things that show characteristics of life have energy. Energy can take a diverse amount of forms, like solar energy, wind energy, hydro energy, and bio energy. Now, let me explain to you how energy was discovered. Energy has been with humans ever since the dawn of time. We have constantly kept on using it, and it is really important to us. The first form of energy that was ever discovered was fire. Fire energy was probably discovered by mistake with some sticks or stones. But we humans soon found out how useful it can be in our daily lives. We learned to harness it in furnaces, and we soon learned that we can use it to cook. Now, in this container, you can see that there is hot water. This hot water has heat. The reason for this is because the particles inside it are constantly moving very fast. While cold objects have their particles moving very slow. So we should know that hot objects have particles moving very fast and cold objects have particles moving very slow. Now, I, have, I can't forget to mention the two categories that all forms of energy fall into, potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy is energy that is stored within an object. All objects that are going to move have potential energy. For example, let's say there is a roller coaster at the top of a hill. As it weight at the top, it is storing potential energy. And as it moves down, it loses the potential energy. Then there is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy of motions. The more mass an object has, the more kinetic energy it is storing. For example, let's use the roller coaster again. As it moves down the hill, we know that it loses potential energy. But wait, we know energy can't be created or destroyed. So that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. So now let me talk to you about saving energy. We all need to save energy. And the reason is that saving energy is important because we need it for future generations. If we constantly keep on using energy and wasting it, then there will be none left for future generations. That's why we should all take our part in saving energy. So some ways that you can help save energy is trying to turn off the lights. When you turn off the lights, you are, saving, uh, you are playing your part in saving energy. You can also turn off the sink if no one is using it, and you can try not to use machines that consume lots and lots of energy, like the dryer or iron. I have gained a lot of knowledge in my PYP exhibition, but I have to thank the people that I interviewed. The first person I interviewed was Mr. Sunday Ayedepo, who works at Covenant University. His goal was to help the world in saving energy. During our interview, he told me that it doesn't matter how much or how little you are doing. As long as you are playing your part, then that is important. After this interview, I, had, I decided to have an interview with someone in my community. So I chose Mr. Quader. 
the head of FMS. During my interview with Mr. Father, he told me about the different forms of sustainable energy, like solar energy, wind energy, and hydro energy. And he also told me about how IITA is trying to use these forms of energy to make it a more sustainable and safe place for people to live. After this interview, I interviewed two more people. I interviewed Mrs. Hilde Copper and Mr. Gregory. In these two interviews, I learned about machines that consume lots of energy and how people in IATA are using waste to produce safe forms of energy. After all my interviews, I became very knowledgeable and I was able to start taking action. The first thing I started doing was that I tried not to use machines that consume lots and lots of energy, like the dryer and the iron. I also had a Zoom meeting with students all around the world to inspire them to start taking action in saving energy. There was also a time that my family was facing a problem of paying too much electric bills. So I kept on taking action and taking action until we reduced the amount we were paying by 50%. This is a good example of how everyone can start taking action. Now, before I end my presentation, I'd like to share with you my acrostic poem on Save Energy. Sustainable Energy. Always save energy. Various types of energy. Electricity is a type of energy. Each type of energy is useful. Nuclear energy is very powerful. Eating gives you energy. Renewable energy green energy, and you and I use energy. I hope you have learned a lot from my presentation, and I hope that you have now become knowledgeable, and I want you to always remember, think, act, and save. <laughs>